for our demonstration, we will load the pre-prepared program and explain its structure to you. We have loaded the program. The program consists of a series of instructions and positions. In the program window, we can see that the instructions are written in order of increasing numbers. Each instruction is executed one after the other. Comments are inserted by using an apostrophe at the start of the command line. The language used to program the robot is the Melfa Basic 4. The first instruction that we will write is the OVRD20. This command is very important as it limits the speed of the robot to 20% of its maximum. This is done for safety purposes. In this line, line 30, we can see an mmout 6 equals 0. This is a specific command to open the end effector, to open the fingers of the robot. The next instruction is a DLY1. This is a delay command. It, de it delays the robot operation by one second. Delay commands are extensively used in robotics to be sure that all the movements of the robot are at a standstill before other actions are undertaken. In line 50, we can see a move command, move P7. This gives an instruction to the robot to move to position P7, which was programmed below in the window below. And we can see there are other instructions like this one, MVS, which means move in a straight line. So we can see that the robot can be instructed to move in various commands. The P7 is a label. This is listed below. You can see over here P7 and the corresponding coordinates are shown highlighted in blue over here. The positions shown in the positions window are acquired from the jog operation. We click on this icon and we get a jog window. We can see that we have got the options to load the current position to the position list. Pressing it will load the coordinates of the current position of the robot into the positions window. So every label is equivalent to a position. When this is done, the current position of the robot arm is linked to a label, let's say PX, where X stands for any number that defines the label. We can also see that we have got an offset value in the instructions. The offset value is a displacement in the Z axis to allow the robot to approach the end position carefully from above. The number signifies the number of steps that the robot stops, in this case above the end position. We will terminate the program with the end instruction as in line 240. This is necessary to inform the robot that the instructions have finished. So, until now we have seen how a robot program is written. Now it's time to see how it is downloaded and executed on the robot. We start by downloading the program to the controller. This is done by clicking the download icon on the toolbar. This pop-up screen will appear and we have to click on the OK button. The software will automatically check and reload all the programs stored in the controller. In this process, 
because the ROP will automatically also check the program for any errors and issue an error message in the messages box if this happens. We have to do likewise with the positions. We click on the positions box and then we press the download icon again from the toolbar. Another pop-up screen will appear, like the one we saw previously, and again we press OK. The same procedures will be executed by the controller and if no errors are displayed in the messages box, the robot is ready to execute the program. At this point, we are ready to try out the robot program in practice. We go to the RCI Explorer window and select the program that we saved. In our case, the program is the LAPP. We right click on it and then we have the following options. We can either press Start CYC and the robot will do one cycle or else Start REP and the robot will do repetitive cycles of the program. We also have the possibility to stop the robot from this menu. So let's give it a try. Once the robot program is fully tested, it may be optimized to fit the requirements of a high throughput manufacturing environment. We hope that you found this technical presentation very useful. On behalf of our team, thank you for your attention.